Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us on Facebook. Uh, my name is Patty. I'm one of the trainers here at New England Aquarium, and I'm thrilled to be introducing you to our California sea lions today during our training session. Uh, here at New England Aquarium, we provide four training sessions a day for our animals, and in between training sessions, we also do enrichment or playtime for our animals. So what we thought we would do this morning is introduce you to each of our three sea lions who are out here on exhibit and tell you a little bit about how we train from the basics to more advanced behavior. So we're going to start out by introducing you to Kim and Ron. Ron right here is our male California sea lion. He weighs in at about 190 pounds and he learned the basics of training with Kim. The first thing that he had to learn was how to eat fish and that was incredibly important for him. So eating food entails small things like learning how to take a fish from there. We start building up that trusting relationship so he knows that Kim is here to support him. And she works on small behaviors initially to build confidence in training. So the first thing that she'll work on is a concept called targeting. She'll present this target to him, which is a basically a bead on the end of a stick. And as you can see, he puts his nose right on it and it gives him a place to focus. Similarly, we can use our hand for the same thing. We can put our hand out there and ask him to target right on that. And again, it serves that same purpose. It provides that strong sense of confidence between the trainer and the animal. And then we can work using that behavior to shape other behaviors. Now, each time you hear Kim blow that whistle, that means, great job, Ron. You've completed exactly what we were asking you to do. And then she follows that up with fish. And so we call that whistle, or the word good, a bridge, because it bridges the gap between the behavior that we're asking for and the reinforcement that we, the animal receives. Reinforcement can come in the form of fish. Ron's favorite happens to be salmon tails. It can also take the form of tactiles or scratches on their body, their favorite toy. They can also take the form of hose play, which is something that one of our sea lions who you're gonna meet in a minute, Zoe, really enjoys. So we're gonna let Kim and Ron continue on with their session, and we're gonna move on and introduce you to Sierra. Actually, change of plan. We're gonna pause and introduce you to Zoe. So Zoe is right here and she is our nine-year-old California sea lion. Showing off her really strong vocalization. And we're gonna actually show you how we build up a behavior using that concept of targeting. So I'm gonna move around so I'm out of the way. And Tara's gonna show you how she trained this really cool behavior called spy hop. So again, using targeting is a really important way to shape how an animal moves in the water or on deck. With this particular behavior, Tara asked Zoe to use the strength of her front flippers to get right up and out of the water, just like that. She said that word good, which again lets Zoe know that she completed that behavior. And then the final product is just putting that behavior on a signal. So giving a hand signal, pairing it with the way that she trained it using a hand target, and then fading out that hand target. And now the finished product is just presenting that hand signal, saying the word good, and then feeding her a whole bunch of fish. So it'll look just like this. Awesome. Another example of that, we're gonna show you with Sierra, and she's gonna actually show you how she does that similar style of training on land. Now, sea lions are noted for being pretty agile. They're incredibly <laughs> flexible. This is Sierra, and this is her trainer, Kim. <laughs> and what we're gonna demonstrate for you guys is how they trained flex neck. So if you watch Kim, she's just gonna ask her to put her head on a target and lean her head all the way backwards. Now she would do that a couple of times and then she would reinforce that with that word good and a whole bunch of fish and then she would put it on a signal and the final product would look like that. It's a really great way to see how we train. Now we also do behaviors that are out in the middle of the water and in order to do that we would use that target pole that you saw Kim using a little bit earlier. And so we're gonna show that off with Zoe in just a minute. So for Zoe, she learned a behavior called a back flip. And if you watch the middle of the pool, you're gonna see her doing that really awesome back flip. And that was all done utilizing a long target pole that extended out into the water. And that basically helped us guide Zoe's body as she moved in the water. Zoe jumps very high, and as she's at the tallest point of that jump, Tara says the word good. It lets her know that that was amazing. She did a super job, and then we reinforced that with a whole bunch of wonderful fish. 
Now we really appreciate all of you watching. We hope that you learned about how we train our animals. We're gonna to continue to update these videos on a regular basis and teach you more about how we train them. But again, we wanted to thank you so much for joining us. And Sierra had a little something to say to you guys. Bye everybody. Good. We hope that you're all safe and well at home. And again, if you have any questions, you can always check out our website, you can check out our blogs, and also ask any questions you have on our Facebook page. And before Zoe finishes up, we'll say goodbye to her as well with her really cute behavior. Looks like she's a little camera shy. We'll give her a minute and see if she wants to come back. Looks like Zoe's about done with her training session. So we're gonna wrap it up right there. But again, we wanted to thank you so much for tuning in. We hope that you're all well at home and we hope to see you all soon. Bye everybody.